my rock broke. That is good. All right, so the oven is finished. Um, I'm gonna use this as my baking plate. The fire is gonna go in here, obviously. I've got a vent up here to release the smoke. Once the fire turns into hot coals, I'm going to put this cap on. That way it will capture the most heat. And then this is the oven door. And it's just gonna roll it and close it up like that. I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and I'll start up the oven tomorrow and try making some bread. Alrighty, so it's the next day. Actually, it's been two days since I built this yesterday and the day before, right after I finished, it's been absolutely pouring. But the good news is that because the rain was so heavy, it actually helped tamp down all of the dirt. Looks good to go. So I think we're gonna start up a fire in here. So we've got the fire going, it's nice and toasty, and I've got it packed full of wood. I'm gonna get it super hot to preheat the oven. So now it's time for the bread portion of this project. So I'm using an extremely simple bread recipe, three and three thirds cups of flour, two packets of yeast, two tablespoons of brown sugar and one and a half tablespoons of salt. The flour and salt go in here and I've got the yeast and sugar in this cup with about a third a cup of warm water. And as you can see, we might be having an overflow situation. So I'm gonna put a bowl under there just in case. Yeast is the secret to making crunchy bread and so we want this to rise as big as possible because that means we're gonna have an awesome fluffy loaf of bread that hopefully gets crispy enough inside the oven. We'll see if I can make it hot enough. The 
fire is nice and warm. I'm heating up the oven door and I'm also heating up the plate. So I'm hoping that if I preheat it, the bread won't stick to the plate as much. Now I'm going to pull my hot wood out and then put the bread in. Now I've got my dough and I've been letting this rise for quite a while. So it's nice and fluffy. Gotta make sure you flour the surface to help keep it from sticking. Pop it on my plate and slide it in the oven. Apply the oven door and we're ready to go. I'm just gonna let this cook for about 20 to 30 minutes and I'm gonna check in a couple of times just to see how it's going, make sure it doesn't slide off into the coals. But other than that, now we just have to wait. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, I believe. So I'm gonna pull these logs off and check it. I might leave it in here for longer or I might take it out now. Woo! All right, let's see if I can get it off the rock. Looks like it is stuck to the rock a little bit. Oh, my rock broke. That's actually a good sign though. That means it was hot. Oh my gosh, it looks perfect. Golden brown on one side, nice and crispy. And it did get a little bit too close to the embers on one side, but I'm still gonna consider this a successful loaf. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm gonna spread some honey on and see what that tastes like. Look at that gorgeous deliciousness. It's crispy on the outside. Soft and doughy on the inside. I'm tearing up a little bit because the bread is so delicious. Just kidding, I just got a ton of smoke in my eyes. But honestly, <laughs> this stuff is so good. Such a fun project. This is delicious. It's so cool that you can make your own food from scratch and build the device that you're cooking it inside of all for basically free. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along on this adventure. Thanks for joining me in making this awesome loaf of bread. And until next time, stay wild. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> I just got so much smoke in my eyes. Let's see you. Be gone with your smokiness.